Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, y'all. So, Kwame Brown responded to T.I. and his son King altercation at the Atlanta Falcons game over this past weekend. And I want y'all to check out what Kwame Brown had to say. Shout out to Kwame. And I know some people... And I know some people might look at that and say, oh, my God, T.I. hit his son in public. He should have got hit a long time ago, in my opinion. That boy needed a belt on his behind a long time ago. But now he's a grown man. And he was trying T.I. from a grown man standpoint. If y'all listen to the things that this young man said, he ready to tell the world about something. He's looking at his daddy like, you cap. I know you, you cap. I'm like, whoa. Hold on there, uh, whippersnapper. Y'all might want to go behind closed doors and have this argument, young boy. What's wrong with you? This your pops. This the dude you're going to call if somebody in the streets get on you. He, he looking at his daddy, I know you. You ain't like that. I know you. I'm like, oh, Lord. It's time to chop this little boy in the throat. So y'all heard Kwame Brown speak about it. The, let me get my thoughts on it as well. I side with Kwame Brown. Now we live in a generation now where these kids feel like they can talk crazy to their parents. And I'm going to keep it real. My generation was is really my generation's fault. The millennials because we grew up with old school parents. And we want our kids to be more like our friends. And what's happened is your kids be cutting up when they're younger. You think it's funny. And then they get 19 and up. And they talking to you like you crazy. And this is the way that our, our society has done it. Oh, you can't discipline your kids. Uh, your kids have a right to speak their opinion. And... and uh, how dare you try to make your kids do something? But then we cry foul when stuff like this happens. Now, T.I. has said that his son has been the wild one. And I know what he's talking about. You usually got that one kid that's rebellious. However, the line has to be drawn. Where's the level of respect at? This, this generation, they're the Gen Zers, they don't respect their parents. They feel like you can talk to your parents like you talk to your friends. And trust me, I, I know what Tip going through. I got daughters and a son, and it's been a couple of times I didn't had to check them on how they talking. Like, don't call me bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or even my nephews or my nieces when they called me. No, where's that level of respect? When we used to call people, our uncles and aunties and all of that, we would always talk them respect. Even if we felt like they was wrong, we learned, we knew to keep our mouth shut. I wish I would challenge my mother or my father. Or I wish I would curse around my mother or father. Or even embarrass my mother and father. Remember back in the day when you knew some of your friends was finna go hit a lick, but you thought about it and said, mm, my father, if my father finds out, you know what I mean? That didn't stop me from doing stuff. This generation don't have that. They so used to having these phones in their hands and they see people with these vehicles and all this money and they feel like they made it before they made it. They don't want to pay their dues and you grew up with this type of music where, you know, they pretty much saying live your life YOLO and you see all this ratchet stuff on TV. And then people be surprised why their kids be acting crazy. Why they be talking crazy. And like I said, this ain't just a T.I. King thing. This has been going on for a long, long time. Y'all see, remember when Romeo went off on his dad online? Air, they tried to air his business out and said that he, they, his reason why he was broke and all this. But you went to USC. You was a one percenter. You had your own TV show on Nickelodeon. Stuff like this, man, it just make it just make my stomach turn. I really want to say something else, but this is it's it's almost like we're moving backwards. I'm really scared for my kids' generation of how they kids gonna be. How 
I stand on business. I stand on business. I know you. I know you. Well, Tip know you. Tip been taking care of you since you was a baby. You his clone. But these kids, man. Ah, y'all got to pray for us, man. Because we are so far disconnected. What happened to days of uh, being polite, calling people Mr. and Mrs. And, you know, you remember... When the grown folks would be around and, and you would you would stop cussing. I go to my son's football game. These kids cussing in front of us. And then when you say something to them about you need to watch your language, they get an attitude with you like you tripping, like I'm messing up their vibe. So shout out to Kwame. I'm glad you said it. We need to go back to some old school ways. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, some people was traumatized. And there are lines that need to be crossed, but where's the rounders of respect for your parents? I would never, ever disrespect my mom. And I'm an adult adult with adult children. So I just want to give my two cents about what Kami Brown said. Again, shout out to him, brother. And I know the stuff that most people don't want to hear, but we need to hear stuff like this. What y'all think about all of it?